It's a little past midday right here at Guzapi area of Asokoro in Abuja Federal Capital Territory. And residents of this area, especially those around this local market here, have come to terms with the fact that the elections billed for today, Saturday 16th of February, will no longer hold because of logistics problems on the part of INEC. Well, having come to terms with that reality, what do they think of INEC's decision to shift the elections? Everybody prepared for this election. All of us prepared. Every person who are with his PVC to go and cast his vote. This is our right to vote and be voted for. You get? Everybody prepared. If you tell you the, the economic aspect, what it means to the economy. Do you understand me? If you go, I'm coming from uh, Utako, as, as you see me here. That if you see people locked up their job, if you don't, it has an effect on the economy. Or property. Okay, one of the people that are transported to their places, various places, some of them are working. They are the ones that are not privileged to have their PC, PVC that can vote in Abuja here. They travel on the way. Some are going to Ibo land, some in Yoruba. You are expecting them, if they are working, you are expecting them to come back and still go back for a uh, uh, South Day. Because for my company now, I can't take it that by next week tomorrow, tonight you are in the home waiting for election from uh, Monday to. Then you are, uh, will it work? So it has a very big effect on the economy. They want to frustrate the people that are standing for article, the people that want to vote. Because on this process now, some of my village people, because of coming to vote, some of them have accident, and one person have died inside that accident because of this vote. And now they have canceled it. Most people have traveled from uh, Kassina, Kanu, to my place. If not that, the corruption cannot stop in this country. What they have prepared for us for long, they know that today is election day. They're supposed to prepare this thing for long, not today, that they will tell us that their the, the equipment is not ready. This is the typical lie. They are just turning the, 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 poor, the, poor, the poor people in this nation, they are just turning them left and right. They are not telling us the truth. What made them to hold on this thing? Because this thing have a date. This thing have a day. They're supposed to, if they want to shift it, they shift it for every week. My children now from Kaduna, from other states, they are at home now. Now they extend uh, 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 the election. The election. You know, no, it was a shock. It was like a taboo for me because I, I did not see me with my with my with my native. I wake up early today around four o'clock. At about with the cold weather, I came out, you know, take care, make sure that all my family are well ready. I prepare my food yesterday, make sure everybody is cooked in here. I could vote for my candidate, which is Atiku Abubaka. So wake up to this morning, I come out to vote. I went to my polling unit, shocking to me, people are telling me that the election is not going to hold. It was like a dream. But now I'm seeing it as a, as a reality. I don't know what, the, what this Al Saman called, the, what is his name, this INEC chairman is doing. Because if we want to postpone the nation, we would have 10 people. I have many people, like some of my friends, that travel from here to Enugu to vote. So are you telling me they're going to come back? Are they going to give them the money for, for, for transport? It's quite unfortunate. So this, uh, my, 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 my stake is this match will resign. Because the way I'm seeing it is trying to rig this election. So I'm telling the international community, Nigeria is peaceful, and we are ready to see my voters card here. I'm a true patriotic, patriotism. I want to vote and I'm ready to vote for my candidate. So any attempt to, 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 to rig this election, they, 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 we are going to resist it. Why didn't they fix it before period to the election? What, what stopped them from fixing it before the election? Why do they allow people to travel as far as Yona to go and vote? Only for how would they come back and still know that they will still travel back for the election next week? They say it's going to be next week, but it's unfair. They should have made everything ready before that day. I think that it is the conspiracy, it is part of the APC plot to leave the election. So INEC have disfranchised Nigeria do not to vote. How they will just postpone the election on election, the day that is supposed to host election, they are telling us they postpone the election, which is not supposed to do like that. We want them, make them cancel that ballot papers, make them do another one, then see to it that they don't give those things earlier enough, earlier enough. So that that day they know we can't talk of uh, 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 logistics. I don't know what the logistics mean for, for INEC. But may INEC not try this thing where they don't do today again. Because you know sweet me for body. May hunger come off us. it. Now be my problem. But INEC get my to cancel the election. May I believe that uh, maybe any other party, any, any, any other government uh, give uh, I, 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 I a bribe. So that is why uh, I, I can come and postpone this uh, election. I beg, help us beg I make, make I make do this uh, election free and fair. It's not good. This country is a, 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 our land. Make I make, don't make us to run. Help us beg I, 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 I feel angry. This 
country, big pass, only one person to rule. At least maybe we do changing of government. At least that one is going to be very, very better. We are not happy. We must have to say it. We are not happy. Both the parties, people that support them, all of us, we are not happy. Because they have been planning this election for long. So how can they just come out suddenly and say the election is postponed, this and this and that? That 23, that 23, they will still postpone it. That's what I know. If they don't postpone it, there is something that I neck people, they are planning against this election. We should say it to our Nigeria. All this thing is not done in another place. But Nigeria, they are practicing it now, which we are not happy over it. If you look the street, if you look many people, many people leave their place, travel from, their, from Abuja here to their state, just for them to go and vote. Going there, spending transport, that one is waste. For them to come back now is hard. Because of just to go there and vote this hunger. This hunger is too much. This killing is too much. This thing, this is what they do. Now I neck with the government officials. I don't know what they want to do. Our own thinking, that is how we think. Because definitely this government, we, our own plan, all of us, we plan to change the government. Election this year is like, um, just like what the opposite party have been saying all this while that uh, the sitting government, they are, they are trying in a way to sabotage the election in a way to suit their own, um, their own ball. I think they say that problem when again I don't have you, but for we we don't prepare for it because we want to elect who will read this Nigeria to the level that we want. But as they saw, they talk that the small problem went for us who we don't worry anytime when they fix we we'll vote.